Hello once again Rough Rider fans, welcome to another episode of Casino Regina's Turf TV. This week coming to you from our spacious CKRM Talk Studios as we have a special guest drop in. That's Saskatchewan Rough Rider quarterback Kerry Joseph and we will also give you a tour of Iberwind Stadium in Hamilton on this week's show. Right now let's catch up with KJ on Sportsline. Table. And our special guest on this week's show as we double on Turf TV here tonight as well, wearing his... <laughs> Atlanta Falcons colors tonight. Kerry Joseph joins us. My vote, I voted today for the MVP of this football club. Kerry Joseph uh, joins us after your club. Kerry takes out the Hamilton Tiger Cats Sunday, goes to 11-5. and five. Uh, Talk about that game at Mosaic Stadium. And, uh, I mean, you left a little early, but you're probably okay with that. Yeah, I was fine with that. Uh, you know what, it was a game we wanted to come out and continue to make a statement that we wasn't going to lay down, even though we clinched a, a playoff spot and, and a home playoff game. And we wanted to come out there because we knew uh, for what happened in Hamilton, they was going to come out and they, they was going to play hard. And they did. They came out and played hard at the beginning. So we wanted to really just come out and establish our uh, our sale and our will on them and let them know that, hey, we're still here to play and let other teams around the league to know that we're still, we still here to play and push, uh, continue to push BC. How hard were those hits you took? Some of them was pretty hard. Uh, like like they I said, they was coming pretty hard, you know, but hey, I just keep battling and keep getting up and... You know what? It's it's just great because I'm having a blast out there, especially playing with the guys that I'm playing with and the, the talent that's surrounding me, and it, it's just a lot of fun out there. You had a sensational year in Ottawa with that 4,500 yards passing, over a thousand yards rushing, which is quite something for a quarterback to do. Only the third one in CFL history to do it. How do you feel about this year now? 24 touchdowns passing, 13 rushing. You're responsible for 37. Uh, do you feel this? You're having a better year here this year than you did in Ottawa in 2004. I feel that I am. Uh, you know, not so much. I don't really look at the numbers and everything, but I look at more just the wins. And you know, being here sitting at eleven and five with my teammates, you know, that I get more joy out of that. You know, I think stats wise, I had a great year that year in two thousand five, but we didn't win many ball games. And you know, so at the end of the day, it's nothing that you really can enjoy about that. I mean, recognize that's something I can look back upon when I'm done playing and I retire. But uh, being involved with this team now and being a, to accomplish what we've been able to accomplish so far. You know, that's the, that's the great feeling and the joy that I have. You've had Coach Austin once before, but you have him in a, in a more important role, I think, this year. Just how important has he been to you this year? He's been very important. You know, uh, I, I know I haven't told him this or anything, but he's really expanded my knowledge of the game of football. You know, just the way he presents the offense and the way he breaks down defenses, it just has really helped me understand the game a lot better. And, and I'm at that point now when I step out on the field, from the game plan, I mean, everything slows down for me now. And you see the big picture, and it's just, like I said, and as a, as a team, we understand about spacing on the field. You know, guys need to be where they need to be, and, and I think that's why we're executing so well right now. How much of an effect does you have as being the head coach and that background having the team? It's a big effect, uh, and just his attitude. You know, he's a, he was a competitive player, and he's a competitive coach, and he brings that positive attitude to the team, and he did that from day one. And guys just fed into that because that's what he believes in. And guys, you know, when you buy into that, guys believe that also. And that's the thing. That's the thing. We had the, the two-game losing streak, the three-game losing streak. We stayed positive and we stayed together. And it all starts from the top. Is he a different guy than in Ottawa? He is because he, he's in control. He's running the ship now. You know, in Ottawa, he was just, he was back there with us, just, you know, going along for the ride. Now that he's in control and, and this is his show, you know, he's, uh, He's a lot different. He's, he's demanding, too. Yeah. Here's right that. now the race for the outstanding player in the CFL this year is between you and Henry Burris. Uh, are you aware of this? Do you think about this much? I really don't. You know, um, <clears throat> it's been really thrown at my attention the last week or so, but uh, I really don't try to focus in on it. You know, I think if it happens, I think it's great. I think it would be a great honor. You know, but if, if it would happen, that's a great honor I would share with my teammates because truly, I mean, with the, with the guys I have now, I'm truly thankful because I can just relax and play football and, and play like a kid and have fun and not have to try to do everything. So, uh, you know, Henry's having a great year. You know, at the end of the day, though, if it comes down to winning that or winning the Grey Cup, I'll take that Grey Cup any day. So, or uh, for the, the riders and, and the whole team in general, um, from what I see, do you believe that their attitude has really changed towards not just the game but just the team itself? Our attitude has changed. Uh, it's, not, it, it's no negative thinking around that, that locker room. You know, everything we do is positive. And that's one of the, that's one of the biggest things I have realized. It's no doubt. 
uh, is team unity. And guys, we actually look, you know, our family in that locker room. And I think that's what's a big part of our success this year. That's great. And uh, for, like I also want to say, anytime the interview, every, or whenever they're interviewing anyone, it's always we, it's uh, never me or I. Uh, they're all, they always talk, like you say, as a team. And is this what Kent Austin, you, like I think Kent Austin and Eric Tillman, that's what they bring to the, to the team itself? That's what they bring, and they brought great players here with great character, and that's what we have here. And uh, you know, that's one thing. Like you said, we win together, we lose together, and that's how we've been, and that's how we're going to continue to be. That's great. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you in Toronto because I will definitely get down there from Ottawa. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks, John. Special thanks to our Ryder MVP, my pick anyways, Kerry Joseph, for dropping by Sportsline. Now, as promised, here's a look at Iverwin Stadium in Hamilton from our trip there, where the Riders won 40-23 two weeks ago. Welcome to Hamilton. God, you guys are having a great season. We, on the other hand, it's painful once again. Maybe next year. <laughs> All right, Ted. Thank you. Thank you. Baker? Hi, sir. What's TV? my man, B? What's up? Get Charlie? <laughs> Welcome to Hamilton. Ah, it's Halloween in Hamilton, as always. Great scoreboard. Get the score clock here. That is nice. Focus. They say that's the same size as ours. I don't think so. How's that? How about Pasty? Pasty's done? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me check it out. What you doing? Yeah, well, for the cop. Let's get a plug in for your store, Fred. Oh, get in the plug? Oh, okay. Booze Please mark. sound and performance. <laughs> Say what? Go to Booze Mart. No, we got to see some performance in Regina, baby. The address? 628 Albert Street. Okay, perfect. Come see us. Pimp up your ride. Oh, yeah. my hometown, so I don't know them. Yeah, hey, we to the other side. Chris Bauman. And there's a look at one of the oldest stadiums in the CFL, Iverwind Stadium in Hamilton. Just before we wrap up the show, here's this week's trivia question. With a rider, ball cap, and license plate up for grabs courtesy of your local Express Foods and Fine Food Store and Triple Four Advertising and Moose Jaw, what number did Reggie Hunt wear in high school? And I believe, Jeff, he was a running back there? Yes, he was. A running back in high school in Texas. What number did Reggie Hunt wear? Email your answers to TurfTV at PetersonMedia.com, and we'll talk to you next week right here on Casino Regina Turf TV.